Level 49 is back, and he's strong. He's looking at me with those, I'm going to try to kill you, Dakota, eyes. And I'm afraid of that, to be honest. But what I'm not afraid of is another double dwarf weed drop. Oh, hey, now we're talking. Double dwarf weed, double Avento. Unfortunately, Avento is not on my list of super duper de duper de duper de duper de essential herbs. That list, of course, being Snapdragon, Toadflax, Torstal, Dwarf Weed, and Renar. But that's okay. It's gonna help me sell potions. For I am the potion seller. What I mean to say is that I'm not the potion seller quite yet, but one day I will be the potion seller. Uh, that day might not come for a little while because I have to freaking do the druidic ritual quest with a lot of value in my bank in order to get there, but certainly that day will come, maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't even know, dude. I mean, li listen to this. How much do secondaries cost in the Grand Exchange in Deadman mode? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find that out as well. If they cost a lot, I'm not gonna be able to make that many potions. I'm not gonna be the potion seller. And that's a problem. Also, a problem is not being able to pick a lock for a thousand times so I lose a Chaos Druid when I come in. Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm attacking this Chaos Druid. Oh, dude, this Addy, this dude with the Addy Longsword, when I attack the Chaos Druid that he's trying to attack, I know he's eyeing me down. I'll tell you that much. He's looking at me like I'm a hot plate of macaroni and cheese, thinking that he's about to take me down to destroy me from within. And I'm just gonna have to let him do it, you know what I'm saying? Because I only got three cakes, so I just gotta run. Luckily for me, since he has an Addy Longsword, what he's not gonna have is Bind. So I'm going to be able to run. And I shall escape. And it shall be fantastic. 50 magic. Alright. Let's come to terms with the reality of the situation. As soon as I'm done with the charges on my staff and my bow, I'm going to teleport to Varrock. I'm going to go to the Grand Exchange, I'm going to buy some stuff, I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm going to be left with a lot of herbs in my bank. I'm going to be left with a good chunk of silk. I'm going to be left with a good chunk of law rooms. And I'm going to have to do the Druidic Ritual Quest. That is a problem. I do not have a good solution. But hopefully by the time that it comes, I will have thought of one. And if it doesn't, well then, I mean, well then, well then, you know, we have fun around here, don't we guys? I'm gonna lose my bank. And I shall rebuild from the ground up, and then back down to the ground, yes. And then underground, I will, right? Like this underground ladder, there's a chest down there, I could steal from it. And that's how I could rebuild. Who don't, I, I, I mean, really, who knows what the future holds? I'm gonna take these mind reads, dude, I mean. They're gonna be they're gonna be valuable. Don't worry. I don't know why people aren't taking these things. I mean, there's people who who listen. When I was walking past in Lumbridge, the chicken coops and the cow coops, there were people who were not taking the bones. I don't get that, man. You know, the prayer is only gonna help. Actually, I do get it because like a super high level is not gonna attack you if if they're 30 combats or more above you, because then they're gonna get the super long skull. Oh, I get it now. I get why you would not want prayer. Hmm. Well, if I'm learning one thing, it's that I've still got a whole heck of a lot to learn here in Dead Man mode. Whoa, four Herolanders, dude. That's what I'm talking about. The double herb on the double herb with the double of the same herb. <laughs> it just looks so nice. I don't know to get so many herbs. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, let me check the charges on this staff 67. All right, I think in this trip I'm going to be able to use all the charges in this staff and then I can bank with 51 magic, which is good because that's what I need for Artie Teleport, which means I'm never going to have to walk from Camelot to Artie. And that's very dangerous. So that's good. But not good is I still got to do the Druidic Ritual Quest and a solution has not come to me quite yet. Bronze Longsword. Another Bronze Longsword. Should I fear the Bronze Longsword? What if this is not just a Bronze Longsword dropped by a Chaos Druid? But what if it's a bronze longsword equipped by this table? What do you got to say about that table? Useful for putting things on. Hmm. I see. Nature runes. How many natures? Oh, just three. Hmm. I suppose that's okay. You know, it's better than two. It's better than one. And it's better than zero. Actually, if it were zero, that might mean that I have a good chance of getting an herb, which is two herbs. And I don't think three natures is better than two herbs. But, you know... Who am I to know about the dead man mode economy? Listen, I, I might teleport to Varrock uh, in, in a little while here and go to the GE and find that low-level herbs are worthless. 
And then who am I to say that three natures is worth more than two guams? <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> like, like, look at this guy. Uh, the freaking Dakota 238, dude, you know? 52 magic. Don't know what I could do, but I can check. Which is good. Can't do anything. 51 and 53. All right, how many charges left from this staff, I wonder? 13 more casts. So after these 13, I'm going to see what happens, dude. What happens? Does it just say you can't attack? Or does it just start meleeing? Or does it crumble to dust so I can use my fist and or foot to melee? Ooh, there's those. Holy cow. Look at all that, dude. It's my first quarm as well, which is quite nice, I gotta say. All right, take a look here. And sold Chaos Druid Head. Probably worthless. But you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna drop these just to get these bones in the mix, and then one more Chaos Druid with the remainder of these casts. Let me get the bones in this mix as well, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, can I even finish this guy? How many charges left, I wonder? Let's take a look here. Boom! Two casts, alright. One cast, and last cast, will it be a kill? Your starter staff has fallen apart, and indeed it is a kill. Great timing, everybody. Great job. Indeed, just as a full inventory as well. That's what I like to see. So we're gonna go back to the bake. The, yeah, we're gonna go back to the bake. Okay, and we're going to extract our starter bow from the bake. So don't worry. I'll see you at the bake. Hey guys, everything going in the bake now. Welcome to the bake sale. Got two quarms coming in. Ugh, I really like quarms, everybody. Okay, starter bow time. Do not worry. We're going to get some range. We're going to get some defense up in the mix. Is it better to do rapid, I wonder, and then save defense training for long range on magic? Because magic with defense is at the same exact... Actually, I don't think I'll be training magic much. Maybe just for six more levels, but... You know... Wait, I don't... Well, I didn't bring any cake. This, th it's not smart. It's not smart. I'm gonna go back and get cake. I could go there and just hope that I don't get attacked, but the reality of the situation is that it's dead man mode, and I'm going to act like a real fool if I die with 20k in cash in the bank, a big pile of silk, and a big pile of herbs. So I'm gonna go back and get cake. If I didn't have this shield taking up an inventory spot, I might have decided that it's not worth going back for the cake. But you know what? That's just life. Plus, I have the added bonus when I use range here of people thinking that I have a green dragonhide body equipped. So, you know what? They might be afraid to attack me with magic, which is exactly what they're going to attack me with at this point in the game. Because freaking everyone has magic, dude. Magic is really good early on. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you a story about bananas, okay? There was once a banana. His name was Jim. Another banana. His name was John. Jim and John had a glorious day, and then they were eaten. The end. How many earth runes? Just nine, okay. It's a little too slow on long range, so I'm going to do rapid with range. You know, it might be for the best anyway, because I'll be able to get more range levels. You know, since range and defense are split. You know, 38-8-4-3-1 and 38-8-4-3-1. It's all coming together. It's all making sense. Do not worry. Have no fear. We're going to get there in the end.